Earlier this month, Roars, a Fargo-based construction and development company, announced that tenants here at the Moorhead Center Mall received notice that mall operations must cease by the end of this year. This drew mixed reactions from owners and tenants directed toward Roars and the city of Moorhead. You know, we knew it was going to happen, so I guess I'm, you know, I'm glad it happened. Now we have to push forward. Mary faber Burnt has had a Merle Norman franchise in the mall for 36 years. She says she's not ready to throw in the towel and plans to stay in Moorhead. Barbara Schramm owns the Three Bees Boutique and has a month-to-month -month lease at the mall. She says she knew Roars had plans for the mall but didn't know when things would start to happen. That was until May 12th when an email came letting them know they had until the end of the year to cease operations. But up until that po point, we had no idea. And we've been asking, we've had uh, meetings with Roars and to ask, and they would never give us a date about it. So actually, I think it was quite a shock that um, we it came much faster than we thought it would. Moorhead drug pharmacist in charge Jackie Jelly says they knew it was coming and have already made plans to find a new location. We knew it was coming, so we had already made plans to find a new location. We were already working with realtors to find us a place close by. Jelly says it would have been nice to hear about the closure themselves rather than from the media. She says they will move about a block and a half away sometime in September. Roars CEO Jim Roars says he thinks most people realize the mall has been dying for years and it's gotten to a point where the financial burden for Moorhead taxpayers is so large that something had to be done. Everybody wants to know when is it going to be over. So we picked a time, and that being December 31st of this year, it's over. We're going to shut her down. We're going to shut down portions of the building. Rohr said some month-to-month -month tenants have expressed relief about the announcement of the closure date, and others are worried that shutting the mall on December 31st will kill their business. One example is Jack Henrich with Comfort & Joy Antiques, who says they've been working on a plan for some time. He says he's pleased with the announcement because now he knows that they have to be out by the end of the year. I, I, can't, I can't say bad about anything. I really, my heart goes out to the merchants that are, that are hung up in limbo on what they're going to do or should do. I'm a little more disappointed maybe in the city of Moorhead itself than with the contractors. We have to dig for everything we'd get from the city, you might say, and we've got nothing. But there again, I have no real grievances. I've developed some close friends with people in the city. And Shram says she also wishes the city of Moorhead could have been more supportive of the small businesses in the mall. I do not find that the Moorhead is supporting, they say they are, but in comparison to what other uh, air, uh, things in the area are available to us, the Moorhead has not been supportive of us. Derek LaPointe of Downtown Moorhead, Inc., which is not part of the city of Moorhead but works as an association in conjunction with them, says he understands this is an emotional and complex time concerning the mall. He says they have been working with tenants to find relocation and incentive options. Those include a renaissance zone, a citywide commercial industry property tax incentive, and gap financing to help with operations and remodel. You know, what's complex about the situation is, is, those incentives vary on location, vary on uh, building versus leasing versus owning versus remodeling. So there's a lot of different variety on, on the situation and, and understanding um, what the future holds for some of these tenants. And again, we understand that change is, is, is difficult. Um, it, it, understanding that this is still a, a, a private matter uh, between a, a tenant and landlord too. So we got to be uh, understanding of that situation. But uh, those that we have had conversations with, we are uh, definitely providing uh, any and all information that we have available to us to uh, facilitate whatever their, their future plans may be. Rohr says there are three long-term tenants who they have relocation plans for and have been in constant contact with. He says those tenants know where things are at. Mary Jane Kreps owns Kreps Family Farm Corner Coffee and has a lease through February 28th of 2024. She says they haven't heard from Roars. Our lease goes until the end of February, so I'm not sure how that's going to work because we haven't been notified that we're done before the end of our lease. 
they haven't helped us at all. They said, oh, pl- go see economic development. Talk to your banker. They wouldn't help us. The Department of Motor Vehicle has a lease in the mall that runs through November of 2025. Clay County issued a statement on the announcement of the mall closure and said the Clay County Board of Commissioners requested a strategic plan for a future location. In the statement, Clay County said, quote, The commission has approved a pre-designed study to assess options, including building a new facility or moving to an existing location. Clay County will provide additional information as it becomes available, end quote. Roars said they are working with the DMV and indicated they are willing to be flexible as the DMV settles on a long-term fix. They want to have their own identity. They're looking to have a facility that's more accessible for large vehicles. Okay. And so this is not a good permanent fix for them in the first place. It's very cheap, but it's not a good fix for their operating business day to day. So they've been looking to find a location to build a facility that fits their needs more appropriately. We're going to help them do that. But we're not going to kick them out on the street. If it takes them two years, that's what we're going to do. Shram added she thought they could be in the mall as long as the DMV was there. She says selling off her inventory in six months will be difficult. Roars says the third group is the owners. He said they will be working with that group over the next couple of months. As as, uh, condominium associations go, the majority rules. We own 97% of that con- of that association. Okay. So we were going to ha- we will have a meeting coming up here on June 8th and the owners will be asked to vote. Do you want to continue or not? For photographer Madison Quinn, I'm Ryan Janke, KFGO News.